How's it going guys? My name is Crow and welcome back to Tabs. Today we're taking a look at 12 different units you guys have created and I'm going to rate them on how they look, how powerful they are, and we're going to see which ones look the coolest and which ones are the most powerful. Starting with this one, but before I tell you who this is, did you guys know that I actually stream on Twitch like every day? Twitch.tv slash Crowjack. If you want to talk to me, go hang out, have a good time. Link in the description up here in the card and check the comment. I pinned it in the comment too. This right here is Sung Jin Woo from Solo Leveling, the Shadow Monarch. It's actually from uh, this manga right here, Solo Leveling, which is um, one of my favorite fully colored mangas. There's like six chapters out or six volumes out. It's sick, but this is Sung Jin Wu. So from the perspective of trying to recreate Sung Jin Wu, I think you've come close, but you're not quite there. So I give the look about a 6 or maybe a 6.5. But now we got to figure out power levels. I'm just going to drop down a bunch of squires. We'll do roughly equal power level and we'll see just how strong Sung Jin Wu is. Now in the manga, Sung Jin Wu. Okay, those are big damage numbers. Sung Jin Wu could actually resurrect the dead or resurrect like shadow minions and stuff. Believe me, it's a cool manga. And this Sung Jin Wu is just zooming around the map with his abilities. He's pretty powerful. Okay, we'll give him a power level of like a 7.5. It took him a little bit of time to kill that army. Though, if we did actually check when he did deal damage, that's what? 100,000 million. That's 200 trillion damage. Pretty powerful. So maybe 7, 7.5 on the power. Something like that. We have, um, it's a bread god. And I did not know that you could be a bread god. Since when could you be bred in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator? So just from a creativity standpoint, I like the concept. I'll give it a 7. It's not very complicated to create, I think. But I do like the concept of being a bread god. But what is a bread god? Doing combat. Okay, I'm not seeing damage numbers. Okay, there we go. I'm seeing some damage numbers, but why am I? I'm not seeing like actual red damage numbers. It's clearly the the super peasant power, but how high does that damage scale? I don't have. I didn't see any numbers. So what if I put like a Saitama in there? Does it? Okay, it's punching Saitama, but I'm not seeing any damage numbers. So it doesn't help me. And Saitama managed to kill it. So I guess it's got a decent power level, like a 6 or 6.5, or, um, yeah, maybe a 6. This is disappointing. If you look at this image, it says Crow Mr. Negative. It's a neon unit, but now I've got just a totally naked unit. That's really disappointing. Is it strong? At least, uh, yep, that's a mistake. <laughs> Sorry. This guy is called the new admin. 2.0 and for style points i mean he's kind of styling he does kind of give you the admin of totally accurate battle simulator kind of vibe but give it a solid five but nothing crazy but in terms of power level the admin has a 10 that's a 10 you don't yeah, that's that's a 10 that's a 10 that's a 10 here come how about we watch that again okay in case you missed it the first time He's got the super peasant throw. Oh, he's doing a barrage, a pointless missile barrage. It just wipes out the entire army instantly. It's gross. It's gross. And if I was to get something even bigger in there, watch, 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 guys, watch this. Okay, just uh, put some of those guys in there too. What are those guys? Start freezing the admin. Yeah, freeze the admin. <sighs> Damage is insane. The damage is OP. This guy is called Crow, the God of Destruction. And it's much more along the lines of what I would expect if you were looking at a god of destruction. It's all different shades of gray and black with a little bit of brown up there in the antlers. Visually, it's a seven. It looks pretty cool. I do like the layering, which is why I scored as high as a seven. But it's called the god of destruction. So let's... Okay, um, uh, it's not as fast as the other one. That's definitely a nine or a 9.5 in terms of destruction. If I put some Jarls in there. Yeah, look at those, look at those numbers. How, how many, how? Okay, well, got hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, something, quad, just too many zeros. Out, oh, chat, guys, comment down below. Uh, what is that number? The one, three, four, eight, three, eight, four, brrr, 
zeros. I don't know what that means. This thing is very powerful. It's insanely powerful. But it's not as fast as the other one. It's taking its sweet, sweet time. So it seems like the legacy entail is not what's dealing the damage. It's something else. It's fast. It's powerful. It might even deal more damage than the one unit, the the admin. But it's not as fast. You know, I think the uh, the final fight, when we figure out who's strongest, that's going to be hilarious. Oh no! This guy was called Lex Luthor's suit using mods I don't have access to because I can't see the rest of Lex Luthor's suit. How about this guy? He's also broken. How many of these are broken? Okay, he's good. That one's good. That one's good. That one's broken. So this must be a mod that I'm missing, preventing me from seeing all of these. There are so many really cool units. Oh, they're broken. Okay, you know what? Let's just check out the units I can check out. Then I gotta figure out what this mod is. This guy is called the Galaxy Demo Lector. There he is. He actually looks great. It's a very, tr tr that's not black. That's not black, that's dark blue. Oh, interesting. I was expecting a very simple black and white unit like you see but he opted to weave in some really, really dark navy blue in amongst the black. Okay, you know, bonus points for style. I'm giving you a solid like 8.5. That's kind of cool. I love the weapons and stuff. Let's hear your power level. You teleport in. Why am I lacking off of just a pathetic number of units? And so far, he seems to be a normal power level unit. So his power level of like four or five. It can finally kill these units eventually, but it takes time and it's throwing glaives and stuff. Damage is 170,000. Power level of five. Appearance of like, what did I put? Like an eight? That was really nice. This guy's called like Blossoms, Rain, and Barbados. And honestly, it's one of the coolest looking units I think I've ever seen. I like the unique colors. Everyone's always doing like black and red and gold and white. No, this thing's pink and light blue and white. It's a it's a solid 9.5. It's almost perfect. Why is there black right there? I don't know. But ultimately, it's a really nice unit. And why is that dark pink right there? I don't know. Really, really good. Really, really close. Let's see what its power level is. Appearance is like a nine. Easy nine. Damage is pretty good. Ability to kill an army is pretty good. So its power level is like a 6.5 to 7. It's solid, not fast, but visually, it's a nine. It's a, it's a nine. I, I love how it looks. This guy is called Crow. Out of all tabs and is clearly designed in my my knight kind of style it looks really good visual appearance with some weird glow effects and weird spots i'm gonna give this a seven it looks pretty solid but the real question is where's the power yeah okay power level is probably a 7.5 to an 8 it is doing a pretty good job on these armies taking a long time to do so but when it does strike it's hitting for uh, 160 billion which is strong but not quite as strong as the other ones our three contestants for the appearance are the knight the pink dude and the black white and blue unit in first place i've, I've got to give it to the pink dude that's just that's just so cool i love all the spread out color is fantastic. In second place, I'm going with the surprisingly cool dark blue, black and white. And in third place, we're going with the Crow Knight because this is the most interesting. Sadly, many of the units I want to check out today are modded and I don't have the mod, so we can't really appreciate them. But now we got to go on to the power level. So over on this side, there's um the admin. Where did I put him down? There's the admin. He was striking for a ton of damage, and I have to imagine the admin is gonna be the strongest one. So let me start with uh, start with the bread god versus the ad the bread god just one shot the admin. The bread god just one shot the admin. Is that a joke? Okay, hold on. Is God of Destruction versus the bread god? God of no wait, the bread the bread god won again. Hold on, put the admin back out there. Put the admin further away. I don't give the admin a chance. Hold on. Uh, no, bread god. Bread, 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 bread god does the bread things for the bread god. Pink guy and bread god. Okay. Oh, uh, my god of all tabs. God of all tabs. They're both zooming. Bread god. Bread god's gross. You know what? I could probably put every single unit, including like the broken ones, on this side. And they're probably all going to lose the bread god. Even Jung Sin Woo. Ah, oh, here goes the bread Oh. Oh, hey. What is that? What is going on? What was all those numbers? Where is the... Are we shooting at the bread god in the sky? What just happened? I, I hear fighting. I can hear it. I, I, I don't know where it is. Okay, we're shooting up into the sky. And we're causing some... What's going on here? 
Did somebody summon a golem in the sky? It's raining golem parts. Red victory! Where's 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 the bread god? The bread god came back down and killed everything. Guys, the bread god is way too strong. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, click the links on the screen and make sure to check out Twitch, guys. Bye-bye.